As hello everyone and welcome to my New Japan Cup 2020 Finals at Dominion Review. A little bit of a day late, but you know, it's nice to kind of season it. Let it marinate a little bit before I put out there in the world. As, uh, yeah, I think as everybody knows as you're turning into this, I wanted to listen to my thoughts on it. Bit of a fucking crazy two shows. <laughs> as, uh, we have a crowd here in the, in the Osaka Joe Hall Castle. How I've missed the crowd. As, uh, we're gonna start off the opener, Makabe and Ama versus Yoda Suji. And Yuimura as a homochop. Yuimura in the corner. Yuimura with some European uppercuts. As, uh, Makabe runs into a, a Yuimura dropkick. Suji, uh, takes out Hanma on the apron. They double team dropkick on Makabe. Yuimura locks in a Boston Crab. Makabe gets to the ropes, though. As, uh, an overhead double arm lock suplex that Yuimura does. Makabe kicks out it to a snap power slam from Makabe. Hanma with a Kokeshi on uh, Yotosuji, sending him to the outside. Sunset flip from Yuimura gets a two count, and then he runs into a Makabe layered. Who falls off with a German suplex with the bridge, and they get the win for Togi Makabe and Tomakiyama. As uh, the next match, Tenkoji versus Roki Goto and Gabriel Kidd. Tenzan and Goto started off. Tenzan shoulder blocks Goto, who stays on his feet. Goto bounces off the ropes and runs over Tenzan with a shoulder block. Gabriel Kidd with a very impressive drop kick on Tenzan. Goto with a wheel kick in the corner into the Saito suplex spot as that gets a two count. Kojima with the machine gun chaps in the corner. Goji cutter on Gabriel Kidd, who Goto has to make the save. A big vertical suplex from Gabriel Kidd on Kojima gets a two count. And uh, Gabriel Kidd runs into the fucking Cozy Lariat. And that's all she wrote. There ain't no he's done. <laughs> no fucking Young Lions kicking out of that. And that gets the win. As a uh, fucking here we go. Master Wado <laughs> taking on Doki. Uh, Doki was ahead of the game here. He was ahead of COVID. He's been wearing a mask. You know, that's why all those fucking people wearing masks are ahead of the game. As Doki tries to uh, use his little cane to start off the match as Kawato ducks it into a drop kick. Uh, kicks up, drop kicks him out of the ring and hits a spinning, twisting plancha. Springboard drop kick back into the ring from Master Wado. Doki with a tope suicida. Doki whips Wado into the barricade. Doki hits Wado with a cane. Uh, then a running double foot stomp from Doki. Just a regular running double foot stomp in the ring. That gets a two count. Doki hits a lariat. A slingshot DDT from Doki, which Doki always, that's one of his best spots he does. A little slingshot DDT from the apron into the ring. And, uh, Wado kicks out too, but it was so fucking perfect. Like, <laughs> Wado sold it perfect. Doki, it was just perfect. It was perfect by both guys. As Doki runs into an enzigiri. Wado with a spinning back fist into a buzzsaw kick. That was fucking so. And then the alley oop. The single man alley oop from Wado, and it was fucking awesome. Uh, that works for a junior guy. Like, you can do that to other junior guys. It's going to be tough when he's going to have to do that on someone like. An actual heavyweight or something. But it's fun right now for when he's in the junior division. As Then he goes to the top rope and he hits a fucking spiral tap. Fucking Hiro Kawato is the fucking man already. He's doing spiral taps. Bless this man. Fuck yes. And he pins Doki to get to him with that. As they're kicking off the career of uh, Master Wado back from excursion. As he celebrates, Yoshi Diba kind of more attacks him from behind. Now comes Tenzan to run him off. Fucking New Japan dad Hiroshi Tenzan over here. Fuck yeah, as a next match, tag match, Sendan Bushi versus uh, Yujiro, Yujiro Takahashi and Taiji Shimori. As Bushi and Ishimori started off, which they always do. They have great matches. As they start off with a running Rana from Bushi, and Zaguri from Bushi, floors Ishimori. Uh, Yujiro takes the worst Rana ever from Sonata. That was all Yujiro's fault. That was, it was not not the blame on Sonata. They have Slingshot Launcher from Sonata. Sonata with a Paradise Lock on Ishimori. Ishimori tries a Paradise Lock of his own, but... He got really fucking close, too. He was like 90%, like, had it locked in, but it just... Almost had it. He couldn't quite nail it. Bushi with a backcracker, and Ishimori almost gets the win before Yudro made the save. Fisherman suplex from Yudro. Bushi kicks out, too. A backslide attempt from Yudro, which, uh... Bushi rolls through and then hits a DD... That little modified on-the-knees DDT. And, uh, pins Bushi, and he gets the win. That's tough. As eight-man tag, Suzuki Gun of uh, Yoshinibu Kanemar, El Desperado, Zack Sabre Jr., Tai Chi, taking on Taguchi Nagata, Koto Bushi, Hiroshi Tenzan, or Hiroshi Tenzan, Jesus, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Has got, I got Tenzan on the brain. As Tanahashi and Tai Chi started off, a bow and arrow lock from Tai Chi and Tanahashi, Desperado, single leg Boston grab on Tanahashi. Nagata hits a, uh, gets tagged in over a belly to belly suplex. He follows up with Exploder on Kanemar. That gets a two count. Tags in a Bushi. 
uh, hits a springboard dropkick on Kanemaru. A four-man court attack on Desperado. And Suzuki Gun has to break up the pin. Uh, Desper Desperado hits the Pinchy Loco, which literally translates to fucking crazy for uh, the non-Spanish listeners. As a, a post-match, that, you know, that got the win. As post-match, Tai Chi tries to hit Ibushi with the, the tag belts. Tanashi makes the save and tags out and takes out uh, Saxe Bay Jr. and Tai Chi with it before they do any damage with the tag belts. Six-man tag. And the... Uh, Come main event as Tomir Ishii, Toriano, and Sho take on Naito, Hiromu, and Shingo. Sho and Shingo start off, fuck yeah, as uh, we get a little preview for tomorrow as uh, Hiromu with a Lariat and a Sita dropkick on Yano pins him, gets a two count. Sho goes for that shock arrow and Shingo counts with a back body drop. They trade shots. Naito blocks the low blow from Yano. Ishii Lariats Naito into a Yano roll up. That gets a two count. Two on one attack on Naito from Ishii and Yano. Then a three on one attack from LIJ on Yano. Pumping Bomber into the jackknife pin from Yano from uh, Tetsuya Knight to following up with the jackknife pin. And that's all she wrote there. Shingo and Show of a post-match stare down. Now it's main event time. It's the New Japan Cup Finals. 2020 New Japan Cup Finals. Kazuchika Okada versus Evil. Darkness falls like 30 seconds in. That gets a two count. <laughs> As Okada blocks uh, everything is evil. Okada drop kicks Evil off the top rope that's evil to the floor. Tombstone from Okada. And of course, no hesitation. That minor $5 million dream. Darkness falls, this time onto a bunch of chairs. A superplex from Evil. Evil and Okada trade strikes. Okada with a Jamu dropkick. Fighting Spirit from Evil runs into a twisting doomstone. The modified Ben and Jolly Dream again. Uh, as Evil gets out of it, but then uh, uh, Okada with some layers. He keeps the wrist lock. And again with that fucking million dollar dream. Crowd's getting by an Evil. Yujiro comes out and uh, with Ghetto. And Yujiro takes out Okada while Ghetto distracts Red Shoes. As Okada did beat a couple of Bullet well, Club guys in the tournaments, so I guess... That's why they're out there, as, uh, wink, wink, non judge, as, uh, both fighters, uh, they, they fight for their finishers. Fight, Evil takes down Okada, stomps him right in the dick, getting some boost from the crowd. Everything is evil, and he gets the win! Evil doesn't give a fuck, and he's your New Japan Cup 2020 winner, as Evil versus Tetsuya Naito for Dominion is set. L.I.J. versus L.I.J., what one might say, as, uh, Evil cuts a promo, to the booze of the Osaka Joel crowd. Out comes Naito dragging his belts like a kid drags his backpack home from school. As uh, they do the fist bump. Only for Evil to throw a too sweet up. Holy fuck. <laughs> it was, that was an awesome visual. As Evil is in Bullet Club. Evil stomps on Naito's hat. And out comes LIJ to make the save. As uh, Evil you know, is, is a beat down with Bullet Club. As a uh, man. As somehow. Someone who successfully picked. Uh, you know, back in March, when this whole thing before COVID and all that was like, Evil's gonna win this new Japan Cup. Did not see that coming. Oh, Alicia, never trust a man named Evil. You know, who knew a man who, uh, I mean, just, I, I just, unbelievable. I, I wish a full crowd would have been there, because Jesus, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's a hell of a moment. For sure, the first L.I.J. guy to turn coat. It's the first fucking L.I.J. guy, nonetheless, you know. As uh, for a pandemic perspective, this is a great turn. Uh, from that standout. It's from that standpoint, uh, you know, it's completely unpredictable. The story aspect, you know, Naito's first guy to join L.I.J. turns on. Them. And you have Hiromu and Evil. They have, you know, the same young, young lion class, their history. Uh, so cool. But the negative side, you know, it's, uh, man. So two things. First of all, his big Bullet Club debut match tomorrow at Dominion. He kind of has to win, and he has to beat Tetsuya Naito, which if that happens, fuck. Tetsuya Naito and, and Tetsuya Naito fans, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, <laughs> fucking big double title win at Wrestle Kingdom. He beats Kenta, COVID happens, comes back to Dominion, and then he loses his former LIJ member, now Bullet Club member. Or you have Naito beat him, and then and saving him for somebody else down the line. But uh, it does make this main event a little bit more interesting. And uh, the other point, you got Jay White in Bullet Club. You got Kenta in Bullet Club. Obviously, with COVID, uh, Kenta and Jay White are not going to be in the country because uh, Kenta still lives in Florida. I, I'm, in my opinion, I think no one's going to be in the country till at least 2021. I don't think that Japan's going to be opening up any international travel until, like, mere months before the Olympics start up. So, Evil's going to be the top Bullet Club guy until this all blows over, which is fine. Bullet Club needs a top Bullet Club guy, because really before this fucking, while this pandemic's going on, the most 
over and best guy in Bullet Club is Taiji Shimoy, which is not a bad thing. Taiji Shimoy's the man, but it's just they need a heavyweight guy to do that. And you have evil. All of LIJ is firmly in Japan, so they have a full-fledged stable. Would you have done this? Here's the thing. I don't think Ghetto did this out of, like, sheer, we need to do this for fucking COVID. It's, um, it's it's a thing where I, it makes sense in a way. Like, his style makes sense for what being in Bullet Club. Uh, it's, it's funny, how, like, talking about it, just, you know, evil here in this New Japan Cup. The how just really the office and ghetto in, in particular, you just have a heart on for him. Like it's, he's always in like a top spot. He's in a top echelon of spots. You know, he's, he's beat Okada in the past. He's had good G1 runs. He's had, you know, here he wins the New Japan Cup. This is, you know, this isn't like a crowning achievement. Like, oh, he's now a top fucking guy. I don't think so at all. I don't think this makes him a top guy. There's been plenty of guys who've won the New Japan Cup, and that's as high as they've gone on the card. Look at you, Zack Sabre Jr. You know, there's just times where that kind of shit happens, where a kind of not-so-echelon guy... Now, the turn is very interesting. The turn makes this whole thing. But uh, it's going to be fine for a second, for as long as this COVID stuff is going on. It's going to be fine. But once... Uh, once everybody's back in Bullet Club and everything's back to normal, in my opinion, it's going to be very awkward. Because you're going to have now... Who's going to be the third banana in that group? You know, you got Jay White, a former fucking IWGP champion. And really, the, uh, the top guy in talent, in my opinion. Kenta, who's fucking Kenta and is the goddamn man. And then you have Evil, who, you know, could potentially be the next IWGP and Intercontinental Champion. It's just, it's, uh... It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. I'm sure one of those three guys, the the Eagles are going to have to come unglue and someone's going to have to lose. It's probably going to have to leave or something. Something's going to happen with that. But uh, it, and it, nonetheless, though, that it was the New Japan Cup Finals. And now we're on to the Dominion Show. What a crazy ass main event now we have in store. It is, for us, it's Bullet Club versus LIJ now, not uh, LIJ versus LIJ. The opener was a six-man tag. A fucking dream six-man tag team, if I'll say so myself. A Satoshi Kojima, Yuji Nagata, and Raisuke Taguchi. What a fucking dream team that is. Taking on Togi Makabe, Tamaki Anna. Gabriel Kidd. Kidd and Taguchi started off. They quickly tag out to Hanma and Kojima. Uh, man, talk about two guys that are built to battle each other, too. Kojima and Hanma. <laughs> it's Makabe with a ten bunch in the corner, followed by a Northern Light suplex. That gets a two-count flying ass attack from the Gucci tags in Nagata. Nagata with some body kicks. Exploded from Nagata, then a three-on-one in the corner. Attack from Nagata. Nagata fights back and makes Kid tap out to the Nagata lock. As uh, Then another six-man tag. It's uh, Sonata Bushi, Hiromu, L.I.J. taking on Chaos with Yoda Suji thrown in there, as well as Tomori Ishii, Toriyano, and Yoda Suji. So Hiromu with a drop kick on Ishii. Uh, Lariat in the corner goes for that seated drop kick, but Yano grabs a hold of him before he can drop kick Ishii. Hiromu with a super kick on Yoda Suji, who kicks out of two. Hiromu with a Boston grab, and then Yoda Suji taps out. That was pretty quick on the notes, as, um, you know... So it was not a bad six-man tag or anything like that. Just, you know, nothing really too noteworthy, I would say. Though, at the same time. Uh, especially with, like, the double, the back-to-back -back nights. It's kind of like, ah. Eh. Don't really need to be too note-heavy here. As the third match in the third six-man tag of the night, Suzuki Gun of uh, Doki, Kanemaru, and El Desperado taking on Master Wado, Yuyeo Yuimura, and Hiroshi Denzan. It's double team on Wado from Doki and Kanemura. Wado with a spin kick and a soul butt takes them out. And then to the outside, which then he hits his twisting plancha. Then into a springboard uppercut back into the ring. God bless Yuriko Wado. As a reverse DDT from Kanemura. Desperado with his pinchy loco on Yui Mori. And he gets the win as well. Post-match Suzuki gun beat down on Denzan and Wado. I'm sure at the next show, we'll see a 10 man. We'll see, not a 10 man. We'll see a tag match. Maybe a six-man, and then maybe the tag. But I'm sure Tenzan and Wado take it on. Doki Kitamaro is probably something in the lines uh, for the future. As a regular tag match now, Taiji Ishimori and Yujiro Takahashi versus Kazuchika and Kana Rokigoro. Yujiro and Okada started off. A lot of double teams and holding down Okada. Kana makes the tag, and fucking Hiroki Goto kills Ishimori with a lariat. And then Goto hits a uh, spinning wheel kick. Hits his Saito suplex, covers Ishimori, kicks out of two. Okada with a drop kick. That sends Ishimori to the floor. 
and to the outside. Yoriguchi from Goto goes to that back cheat DR. Ishimori comes back in, hits the back cracker. Yujiro hits this fucking dumb little, little DDT on Hiroki Goto as Hiroki Goto's on his knees. And he pins him and he gets the win. Hiroki Goto, please. Go to all Japan. Go to Noah. I'm begging you. <laughs> Oof. And then Yujiro hits that shitty DDT on Okada as well in the post match. It's never a boy title match. Show and Shingo. Show with a cross arm bar on Shingo, who has to get out of it, and they go to the outside. Show with a body kick off the apron. Goes for an apron German suplex. Shingo blocks it. Shingo whips Show into the barricade. Shingo with a great suplex inside the ring. That gets a two count. They trade shots. Shingo blocks the spear with a DDT. Show then hits that spear. Show murders Shingo out of the corner with a Laird. And then release German suplex from Show. A standing Laird from Shingo. Shingo ducks the Laird. It's a back suplex. Show with a perfect fucking fighting spirit spot. He stumbles his way into a deadlift German suplex. They trade uh, Lariats. Show super kicks Shingo to the si on the side of the head, rather, as they trade shots from their knees. Show goes to the red, uh, for the shock era, rather, but the red arrows. Fucking, nah, Pac matches. There's Shingo with a back uh, body drop. Pumping bomber from Shingo. Show kicks out at fucking one. Show hits the little shock era pile driver. Shingo kicks out at two. Show with that little cross arm bar. Death Valley driver from Shingo. Show with those fucking bomb strikes. Just destroying him with them. Then he, uh, Shingo with a it, it pretty much was a back GTR hanging off the the middle rope. So shout out Hiroki Goto. Now <laughs> then Shingo it's made in Japan and he gets the win defending his Never Open Weight title. It's post match. El Desperado attacks Shingo on the apron as a, a just I guess it's a junior fucking warfare for poor Shingo Takagi. As you know, we'll see how it goes. As a fan of El Desperado, I'm happy he's getting a, a shot here and he's getting an opportunity. I think it's, I think it's gonna go okay. The, the Ishi. Desperado match as much as it was more it was a little too back and forth for my taste I think with a never open way title match you might be able to get away with it if it's a short little match like 10 minutes 12 minutes we'll see though as an IWGP tag team title matchup is our coming event as as uh, Tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. take on the champions Hiroshi Tanahashi and Kota Ibushi double team from Golden Aces on Zack Sabre Jr. Ish, uh, Bushi with a drop kick to Tai Chi. Tanashi gets tagged in, chops and palm strikes Tai Chi in the corner. Uh, Tanashi and Zack Sabre Jr. trade strikes. Abushi with a soul butt. Tai Chi with an octopus stretch with uh, Zack Sabre Jr. with a guillotine choke on Tanahashi, which he then transitions into a triangle choke. A sit out powerbomb from Abushi. Tai Chi kicks out of two. Tai Chi with his little last ride powerbomb. Abushi kicks out of two. And the pants are off. Tai Chi goes for the super kick. Abushi catches him. Goes for that same crazy ass wheelbarrow driver, like tr out of that. But uh, Tai Chi gets out of it, thankfully, before he gets murdered. As Tai Chi charges, gets floored by a super kick. Tanashi gets the hot tag, counters the back suplex into a midair sling blade. Hits the regular. Uh, ducks Tai Chi's layered and Timmy hits the regular sling blade. Enziguri from Tai Chi stops Tanashi in his uh, tracks. Tanashi catches the PK kick. Twist and shuffle from Tanashi into the sling blade. Tai Chi has to break up the pin for Zack Sabre Jr. High fly flow from Tanashi runs into a super kick from Tai Chi. A jumping knee from Abushi on Tai Chi. Zack takes out Abushi and high fly flow from Tanashi again. This time though, Zack gets the knees up and rolls up Tanashi, which Abushi has to make the save. Tanashi hits that uh, metal claw, the Azuka metal claw, hits Abushi with it, while uh, Zack distracts red, uh, red shoes as Tanashi ducks the metal claw. Tai Chi hits a. Uh, Sayedo suplex the absolute double team assault afterwards on Tanahashi. Jesus Christ. So much stuff happening. Into the super kick to the back of the head from Tai Chi while Zack Saber Jr. is going on at, at like mid-air Michinoku driver. And it was awesome. And they get the win. They pin him and they get the win. Wow. I did not see that coming. I'll be honest. Uh, I didn't see Tanahashi and Ibushi losing this night. I figured that I mean that's a bit of a not what would say a bit of an upset. They're on the you know they're Four single stars teaming up together in two tags in two teams, but uh, still, things happen. But I'll I'll be honest here. The air, uh, it makes sense that uh, you have Hiroshi Tanahashi and Goto Ibushi being in a tag team title matchup, and it adds um, a higher, much needed level for like the absolute performance of a tag team title match. Uh, the match is really good. The match is really good as the main event for the double belts. It's evil the New Japan Cup winner. Take it on Tetsuya Naito, as Evil's new entrance is, uh, you know, he's got new music, he's got new gear, which, uh, the, his new gear makes him look like awesome fucking Kong. It's got awful, but, uh, Red Shoes kicks out Bullet Club from ringside before we start. Bell rings, Evil heads to the floor, 
It's uh, it's wild. Io Shirai could wear his gear. Like, it's literally a dead ringer. As uh, e Naito dropkicks Evil, Naito sends Evil headfirst into the table at uh, ringside. Evil the lair that sends Naito over the ropes. Uh, Evil uh, uses the uh, barricade to, you know, twist Naito's foot and ankle. He sends Naito in the exposed uh, corner. Single leg dropkick from Naito. And then Evil the knee breaker off the apron that goes through the table and on the outside. He comes in and then he gets the Scorpion Deathlock. On uh, on Naito, and then Naito has to get to the ropes. He does so, and Evil with a layered. Darkness falls, Naito kicks out at two. Top rope Rana from Naito. A ref bump, and out comes Jado with a gendo stick with Daiji Ishimori. Ishimori hits the springboard Rana. Jado takes a sweet fucking time to get down there into the ring. And out comes Aromu, who takes out Jado and Ishimori. Evil busts the chair seat over Naito's head. A person who's definitely not Bushi uh, runs down, dressed as Bushi. Uh, and then, uh, pretends to help Naito and then choke him out with some type of rope. Kind of looked like some weightlifting clip, and I'm not really sure. Uh, then Evo with a kick in the dick while they, uh, this imposter, Bushi. I feel like it's 1997 WCW. We've got imposters now. It's fantastic. And everything is evil, and evil gets the win. He is your new IWGP heavyweight and Intercontinental champion. Wow. And that's, uh, Evo cuts his promo as this new... Bushi unmask, and it's Dick fucking Togo. Fuck yes. <laughs> Give him the double belts now. Fuck evil. Give it to Dick Togo. As, hell yeah. How ironic that New Japan gets rid of Taka Minchinoku last year. And this year, they, uh, they bring in Dick Togo. Men's tail better be waiting by a phone. He's gonna get a phone call pretty goddamn soon from Ghetto. As, uh, Hiroma comes out to make the save as they trade some words, and evil, the new double champion, I'm assuming Sonata takes Evil's place for the six-man belts. Not that it matters, but uh, Evil, the, the 71st IWGP EVOA champion, ends out Dominion with Dick fucking Dogo. Uh, if you had that predicted for me, not even, like, the before this New Japan Cup, just before the night, you have been like, wow. <laughs> you know, it still would have been shocking. As uh, I'm all about Dick Dogo in New Japan. Again, the last time he was in New Japan was that uh, Lionsgate... Project Show, I forget which one. I, 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 I want to say it was in the early ones. It was before they got into double digits. I think if he's here, Kawada, too. So that's pretty fun. They should 1,000% run that back. That'd be fucking awesome. And so that will do it for my reviews. The Cup Finals, New Japan Cup Finals, and this Dominion show. Uh, you know, sure. Evil, is it exciting he's the heavyweight champion? I'll be, no, no, it's not. It does have me excited. As far as him personally. Uh, his skills and, like, whatnot, and his drawing power and whatnot, you know, if you want the backseat things. Would a guy like Sonata been better as far as, like, talent-wise? Yes, would even, you know, Shingo, absolutely. But this made sense from a story perspective. And, uh, you know, when it's turned it into a very complex, well, not, I wouldn't say complex, very interesting, not complex at all, it's just a very interesting uh, story and kind of how fun, a fun little wrinkle into 2020 and with this COVID Cup. You know, I, I'm in. I'm, I'll be tuning in, interested on, on this heavyweight scene. I know they're gonna do. They're not. It's not called the G1. It's called the Summer Struggle, and it's gonna be like they're kind of. I believe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're gonna do a G1, but from what I've seen, as far as the very limited schedule that's been released, I know they're gonna do that. I think there's gonna be a show before that Summer Struggle, as uh, I guess I can look real quick. As uh, oh yeah, it's this. Uh, Sunoku Lord and uh, Neogawa. So yeah, that's probably... That probably have something. So yeah, that makes sense. Then that's going to be July 25th. So pretty... Not too far away, but uh, far away nonetheless. And the summer struggle. Uh, you know, looks like there's going to be a lot of cork and all stuff. A lot of cork and all stuff. Yeah. Obviously, and that's the only thing else is left on there is the Wrestle Dynasty, which of course that's been postponed to 2021. So that's, uh, that's fun. That's fun. It's, uh... I'm assuming they're going to do the World's Strongest Tag League, which, whew, hope they don't, but I'll be okay skipping that. No, no, don't mind me. Unless it's fucking, imagine if it's fucking awesome, though. As, uh, thank you all for listening in. As, uh, we will catch you guys for the New Japan Cup stuff, or not the New Japan Cup stuff, but the New Japan stuff at Sengoku Lord Neogawa preview, which will probably be... Uh, the, yeah, next week, because, yeah, it's the 13th now, and, yep, it'll be around probably Thursday or Friday of next week. How fun. So I'll catch you guys there. Take care, everyone.